On a quiet Saturday, as the world's airports slowly came to life, the aviation world was jolted awake by news that would ripple across continents and time zones. China's ambitious C-929 project had just completed a landmark 12,000-kilometer test flight, soaring above the clouds and pushing the boundaries of what many thought possible for a newcomer in the wide-body jet market. Headlines flashed across screens and front pages worldwide. Beijing's wide-body Challenger signals new era. West stunned. The world's attention was instantly captured. This wasn't just media hype or a fleeting headline, it was a real, game-changing achievement that had been years in the making, the result of relentless innovation and determination. The C-929, a Chinese-made wide-body jet, had flown non-stop across a distance that put it in direct competition with the world's best long-haul aircraft, challenging the dominance of established giants. For decades, Boeing and Airbus ruled the skies, their logos synonymous with global travel, with no serious challengers daring to disrupt their duopoly. But on December 13, 2025, that balance shifted. The aviation landscape would never be the same. The successful test flight sent shockwaves through the industry, igniting debates in boardrooms and excitement among aviation enthusiasts everywhere. Suddenly, China wasn't just assembling planes from foreign parts. It was building them from the ground up, ready to compete on the world stage with its own technology and vision. Details were scarce, fueling speculation and intrigue. Was this a true test of the aircraft's range and capabilities, or a carefully managed PR event designed to impress the world? Regardless of the unanswered questions, the message was clear and impossible to ignore. China could now connect global hubs like media, animated map showing flight routes Shanghai to London and Beijing to Los Angeles, airport departure boards listing global cities Shanghai to London, Beijing to Los Angeles and beyond. Years of investment research and engineering had finally paid off, culminating in a moment that would be studied and remembered for years to come. The headlines didn't just announce a new airplane, they signaled a seismic shift in the global order, hinting at a future where the skies would be more competitive and diverse than ever before. The C-929 was no longer a question of if, but what's next. The world was watching, and expectations were sky high. The drama in commercial aviation had a bold new opening act, and the story of the C-929 was just beginning to unfold, promising more surprises and challenges ahead. To truly grasp the impact of the C-929, it's essential to understand the world it's about to enter, a world shaped by decades of fierce competition and technological progress. For nearly half a century, Boeing and Airbus have stood as the undisputed titans of the large, commercial aircraft market, setting the standards for the entire industry. Their dominance is built on relentless innovation, massive scale, and deep long-standing relationships with airlines across the globe, making them household names in aviation. Boeing's legendary 747, often called the Queen of the Skies, revolutionized long-haul travel, making intercontinental flights accessible to millions. Meanwhile, Airbus, formed as a bold European consortium countered with the A300, introducing new efficiencies and challenging the status quo. Later, Airbus launched the A320, which became the world's best-selling jetliner and a favorite for short and medium-haul routes. The intense rivalry between these two giants has driven remarkable advances in fuel efficiency, safety, and passenger comfort, raising expectations for travelers everywhere. But this competition has also created sky-high barriers for any newcomers, making it nearly impossible for outsiders to break in. Developing a new jetliner isn't just expensive, it requires tens of billions of dollars, decades of research and development, and a vast global support network to keep planes flying safely. Airlines tend to stick with what they know, Boeing or Airbus, because it streamlines pilot training, maintenance routines, and spare parts logistics, reducing risk and cost. This powerful duopoly gives Boeing and Airbus immense pricing power and control over the market, influencing everything from ticket prices to aircraft design. Any new entrant must compete not just on technical specifications, but against a perfected, industrial and financial system that's been refined for decades. That's the enormous mountain China's ambitious C929 project is now trying to climb, aiming to challenge the established order. The stakes couldn't be higher, for China, for the industry, 
and for the future of global aviation. The C929 isn't just another airplane, it's China's bid for aviation leadership. Developed by COMAC, it's a pillar of the Made in China 2025 strategy, aiming to reduce reliance on foreign tech, designed to seat 280-320 passengers and fly 12,000 kilometers. It targets the same market as the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. For China, it's about more than specs, it's about strategic independence. With China set to become the world's largest aviation market, relying on Boeing and Airbus is a vulnerability. The C929 aims to capture domestic demand and reduce exposure to Western trade policies. Once a joint venture with Russia, the project is now firmly Chinese-led, a sign of growing confidence. If successful, the C929 will announce China as a true force in global aviation. China's journey to the C929 was long and fraught with setbacks. Early efforts like the Shanghai Y-10 failed, but taught vital lessons. Success required more than copying. It demanded a complete industrial ecosystem. Building a wide-body jet means mastering millions of parts and complex systems integration, once the exclusive domain of Boeing and Airbus. China built its expertise step by step, partnering with Western firms and investing heavily in R&D. Economically, capturing even a third of China's own aircraft demand would create a massive industry and high-skilled jobs. Strategically, dependence on foreign jets is a risk, especially in a tense geopolitical climate. The C929 is China's declaration of technological independence. The December 13th test flight was more than a technical check. It was a statement. The C929 prototype took off from Shanghai, flying nearly 14 hours and 12,000 kilometers before returning home. This range puts it in the league of true long-haul jets, able to connect Asia with Europe, North America, and Australia. Engineers monitored thousands of data points, testing everything from fuel efficiency to flight controls. Completing such a mission on a prototype signals a mature, robust design. For airlines, this flight turned the C929 from a promise into a proven performer. Certification is still ahead, but perceptions have shifted. China can build a long-haul jet. The world is now watching for its commercial debut. With its successful test flight, the C929 officially enters the competitive world of wide-body jets, joining the ranks of the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A350. This marks a significant milestone for Comac, as the C929 is now poised to challenge the established giants in the long-haul market. With a seating capacity of 280 to 320 passengers, the C929 is designed to directly compete with these industry leaders. Its impressive 12,000-kilometer range targets the core of the long-haul segment, covering most intercontinental routes. Comac isn't just chasing a niche market, it's aiming for the mainstream, hoping to become a go-to choice for airlines worldwide. While the 787 and A350 can technically fly farther, the reality is that most global routes fall well within the C929's range, making it a practical option for many carriers. The real battleground, however, is efficiency, specifically fuel burn per seat, which is crucial for airline profitability. Boeing and Airbus have set the standard by using advanced composite materials and state-of-the-art engines to maximize efficiency and reduce operating costs. The C929 incorporates similar lightweight materials and modern design philosophies, but for now, it relies on proven Western engines to ensure reliability and performance. Comac is expected to compete aggressively on price, offering a significant discount compared to its Western rivals. For many airlines, a good enough jet at a much lower price could be a true game-changer, especially for carriers looking to expand or modernize their fleets without breaking the bank. The C929 may not outshine its rivals on every metric, such as range or brand recognition, but it could disrupt the market through sheer value and affordability, forcing established players to rethink their strategies. For the first time in decades, the Boeing Airbus duopoly finally has a serious challenger on the global stage. Despite its success, the C929 still depends on Western engines, its biggest vulnerability. Modern jet engines are incredibly complex and only a few companies can make them. Using GE or Rolls-Royce engines de-risks development, but leaves China exposed to sanctions or export controls. That's why China is racing to develop its own engine, the AECC CJ2000. This is a national priority, but progress is slow and the technical hurdles are immense. The true test of the C929 and China's aviation ambitions will be building a competitive domestic engine. 
If China succeeds, it will achieve full self-reliance in commercial aviation. Until then, the C929 remains a remarkable but still tethered achievement. The engine is the final frontier. Only then will China truly control its aviation destiny. The test flight was a milestone, but industry veterans remain cautious. One flight doesn't make a commercial program. The road to certification and mass production is long and perilous. The C929 must pass rigorous safety checks from global regulators like the FAA and EASA, a process that can take years and is as political as it is technical. Without Western certification, its market is limited. Building a reliable production line and global support network is another massive challenge. Airlines are conservative. They need proof of safety, efficiency, and world-class support. Early quality or reliability issues could doom the program. Boeing and Airbus have decades of experience. Comac is just starting. The C929's journey is far from over. Skepticism lingers, but the first step has been taken. Now, the real test begins. The C929's impact goes far beyond aviation. It's a geopolitical game-changer. Boeing and Airbus symbolize Western industrial power. A successful C929 challenges that dominance. China could use the C929 to forge new alliances, offering attractive deals to countries seeking alternatives to the West. This could redraw spheres of influence in global aviation, with some airlines aligning with China. The West may respond with tariffs, export controls, or diplomatic pressure. The battle for market share could escalate into a broader contest of power and influence. The rise of the C929 marks the start of a multipolar era in aerospace. Competition could drive innovation and lower prices but also add political complexity. The skies are now an arena for great power rivalry. The world is watching to see if this new dragon can truly fly.